Hi, I'm Ross Tapsell from the College of Asia and Pacific here at the Australian National University. I'm here with Malaysian cartoonist Zunar, winner of the International Press Freedom Award and the Cartooning Award for Peace just last month on World Press Freedom Day. Thanks for joining us here, Zunar, in Canberra. Thank you for having me. Of course, it's also some bad news in that you're being charged with sedition in Malaysia for uh, cartoons and for tweets. Mm -hmm. This was the particular cartoon which yeah. uh, you, you've been charged with sedition over. Mm -hmm. What kind of uh, state were you in and, and can you explain this cartoon for us and why there's been such a strong reaction? Uh, this uh, cartoon about the, uh, the judgment yeah, on Anwar Ibrahim. Anwar Ibrahim is a very popular um, opposition leader and and he's just been sentenced to five years to prison uh, people know this is all conspiracy and um, for me this the sentence is uh, the motive of this uh, sentence is to make sure to pre prevent Anwar from taking part in next general election and this, so, this is Najib passing the down minister, the political yeah. sentence. So it looks like a very heavy political sentence. Yes, it's, it's, it's very <laughs> heavy. That's why, that's why for me, I'm, 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 I'm very angry. This is to show that how, how we cannot accept this right. type of... And this uh, is the law in the so bin. The law in the bin. Yeah. You know? So for me, this is all scripted. It's all a scripted sentence. So that's why the Prime Minister, yeah, like you said, very heavy, yeah. heavy, heavy punishment. Very heavy punishment. And you, mm. you've certainly made uh, enemies of, of the <laughs> Barisan Nacional. In yeah. this cartoon, you, I notice in a number of your cartoons, you mm. compare uh, Malaysia's Prime Minister Najib with mm. his father, Tun yeah, Razak, yeah. who yeah. was Malaysia's second, second Prime, Prime Minister, Minister. came yeah. into power in 1970 yes, after the, the crisis of 1969. Mm. Why do you often compare him to his father? Because they are, they are two dif dif very uh, different characters. And well, people love Tun Razak because he's uh, the father of Malaysian uh, economy where he introduced so many good policies. Whereas his son now, Najibur <laughs> Raza, destroy everything what his father did. That is why I try to, to compare. Let's say let let as an example. There Tun Razak he banned communists here. Okay. And uh, so he's an anti communist, uh -huh. anti communist uh -huh. Tun Razak. But come to Najib Raza, recently he banned activists. So he become like communist. Okay. So this is how I I, I, I want uh, this character, you know, people to know these two, these two yeah, characters. Right. Yeah. In this one, uh, mm. you've of course brought in the scandal, the corruption scandal involving Malaysia in the past few years, the one MDB scandal mm. and 2.6 billion uh, ringgit. Yeah, Why did yeah. you choose here to compare him with his father? 30% for the Bumi, 100% yeah. for me. When the Tun Razak introduced this, this, this is DEB, yeah? This is EB, this is 2.6B. <laughs> DEB is a new uh, economic policy to give more uh, chance, a 30 chance for uh, uh, for Bumi Putra mm. to involve in the economy. You know, previously the, uh, the economic sectors are controlled by Chinese. Mm. That's why uh, Turazak said, okay, we introduce this for, for the chance for Bumi to excel in the economy. So that, that, this is very good policy. Mm. When you come to the sun, to Najib to Raza, he, uh, he took 2.6B and 100% for me. Yes. Let's say 30% for yes. me. This 100% okay. for me, for himself. So that's why I want to compare this, you know, to, to, to show that uh, uh, that's how you, know, you take for yourself this one. He give it for everybody to share. In, indeed, the, the yeah. corruption scandal. This this yeah. one I really like because it simplifies what can often be a, a really complex. If you read some of the media reports, the Wall Street Journal or the Edge, yeah. this one really simplifies, and many Australians will understand the boomerang, <laughs> yeah, the people's it. money going yeah. into the middleman, Joe, yeah, and they come private, back to him. They come back to account. him. Yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's actually what he does. What he did, you know, he normally he used technically put this money to another company and go far away and come back. Mm. This is what I want to tell the people. Where, you know, he always said this is a, this is a donation. 
it's got nothing to do with two, uh, with YMDB uh, right. uh, scandal. He yeah. said that this 2.6B is a donation. Yeah. It's yeah. not come from people's money. Yeah. That's what he tried to, to tell. But through my cartoon, I want to tell that this is our money. So that's why I make, uh, I make this uh, uh, picture for people to really understand. Oh, this is actually he put a comeback to him. Yeah. So this is the purpose of this cartoon. In, in this one, you've got uh, Malaysia strongman, I guess. This is Najib the strongman yes. yeah. uh, above the, the Lao Chin Chin Selatan, abo <laughs> above the, the, the South, South China, China sea. sea. But underneath you, you've got here the international organisations. How would you say the international response has, has been around this corruption scandal? Yeah, this, uh, because of the previous picture show that uh, he, uh, YMDB money, is uh, located in in an in international bank mm. all over the world. Mm. So now they all started. Uh, the foreign countries started to to investigate a money laundering. That's how how come this uh, this money these people can get so much money, mm. including stepson of Najib in United States, <laughs> right. which is they get uh, the finance the movie. So. That's why uh, United States is uh, investigating that issues. It's all about money and they're the, they're the piranhas eating away. Yes, at, the piranhas at, eating. At they yeah. eating Najib now. This is, this is, this is, this is not strong. It looks strong from the surface. This is cartoon all about. People in in uh, uh, people in Australia may look this is very strong. Yeah. But we in reality is uh, eaten up by 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 this now. And do you think, I guess, is, is Najib the strong man going to sink into oh, the pool? Yeah, or do you think he will stay? It's only it's a matter, matter of time. time. I mean, he got two choices now. Whether he go to become a dictator or he will definitely, uh, uh, you know, a matter of time, he has to go down. Okay. So there's two choices now. You haven't just drawn Prime Minister Najib. In fact, you've often drawn cartoons of the First Lady, Rosma. Um, why, why is the First Lady fair game for a cartoonist like yourself? Uh, first of all, uh, it is an open secret in Malaysia. Uh, people know that she is the most powerful figure in Malaysia, not the Prime Minister. <laughs> that, 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 that's an open secret. People know that. So every every decision by the government is actually she's her decision. It's not the husband's decision. So that is why I, I focus more on her. Okay. So she is the most powerful. So I make sure that even if she is not there, the ring will be there. The, the ring that represents her will be there. Right. So, so, so this is the thing. And this is also about... Uh, 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 and she loves to shopping. Of course, you know, you love to shop. No problem to shop. People no, no complain about it. Described but as the first lady of shopping in some shopping, reports. But you use people's money, that's what we are complaining. You, okay. know, you can shop your own money, no problem. Okay. But people money to shop. So this cartoon show that previously, they go to Hong Kong, Singapore, Paris, London, New York to shop. But now, Hong Kong, Singapore, Paris, New York, it's about investigation. Right. So, so okay. that, you know, so when we talk about that, they're very scared. And this is the, yeah. And you've even got Sydney, I believe, here yeah. with, with uh, <laughs> the first lady yeah. compared to the, to the, the opera, house. opera house. yeah. And when people see the diamond, they, that's the first lady. Yeah. And when people that. see this little policeman with the twit twit and the handcuffs, what's yeah. that? Yeah, this, uh, this is actually uh, the, the uh, character of um, uh, uh, IGP, you call it, I mean, chief police. When uh, he appeared since March last year, when uh, that's the day I was arrested, he used a Twitter posting to instruct his men to arrest me. Okay. So that since then, I made sure that in every cartoon, I will put him the police with a Twitter. Which brings us to, to the last one and, yeah. and this incredible uh, cartoon you've got. I guess this is yourself. Yes, uh, a self portrait. In He's jail. A big handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in jail with uh, the Sedition Act, the Penal Code, the, and, uh, and, and you're still drawing, I believe, until my last drop of ink. Is that, how, right. that what you're planning to do? Yeah, that's right. That's right. This is the three laws used against me, uh, Penal Code, Sedition Act, and Printing and Presses Act. And I get the philosophy here, how can I be neutral, even my pen has a stand. That is my slogan and also my philosophy of cartooning. And why pinch when you can punch? That is my way of doing cartoon. Okay. I make sure that, you know, I want punch, I don't want to pinch. 
and and finally mm. uh, in one of the investigation i told the police that you can ban my cartoon you can ban my books but you cannot ban my mind i will keep drawing until the last drop of my ink it, it's, it's very inspiring but but you must worry i mean if you look at the case of anwar you know the political sentence that was handed down of him you you must have times where you think have i crossed the line should i should i we need to cross back? the line we need this to is a line of fear we call it it's not normal line it's a line of fear if you don't cross it you will be trapped in there forever so the system is very happy the government is very happy if people don't want to cross the line but if more i i now i'm crossing it i hope more and more people will cross it we have to break the system if not if if not they are very happy you can now you know malaysia has been governed by this uh, party for more than 60 years if you don't cross the line we will give mandate for another 60 years for them so change will never happen suna thanks for coming thank in you. great to talk yeah, thank you very much yeah.